One of my recommendations would be try to find such metal scan buddies that are sandblasted. Uh, let's talk about scan buddies and what they are. Scan buddies actually are um, the equivalent of transfers. And uh, these transfers, as you can remember, were used in the um, analog impressions to um, take the information to the stone model, the information of the implant placement, and um, inside them, the uh, analog is screwed in and the model is poured. Scan bodies are actually composed of two parts. One is the physical object, and the other is the library of this uh, scan body. And how they work. After uh, imaging the patient, the scan body is seated, digital impression is done, um, that contains uh, the relationship of this scan body and the scan body itself to the mouth of the patient, teeth, uh, gingiva, and after this mesh is done, the computer will then be able to take from the library the perfect structure, the perfect surface of the scan body. After we do a good impression of the scan body and uh, the computer starts matching this, uh, this new library to the mesh, we are going to get a heat map and this heat map will tell us how precise our scan was. The one in the middle, that is a medit scan, and you see that the scan body on the heat map for medit is green with some blue and uh, yellow spots, but mostly green. This means it's very precise. The same scan body from the same patient you see in exocad on the right? And then you'll see that this scan body is mostly blue. So this is an acceptable impression, and this will give a correct position of the implant that the patient has inside the bone. What is uh, a library? So the library contains the perfect um, dimensions of the scan body, and correlated to this scan body, we have a virtual implant, and the implant's hex, and various other connections that will be used for the final work, like hybrids or um, direct to implant connections or the multi-unit connections that are going to be contained in the final prosthetic work that we do. So the scan body will actually transmit to the lab what the position of the implant is as far as uh, where it starts, what angulation it has, uh, how the hex is placed or any other connection structure is placed inside it. So every information needed to build the final work is already contained in this library. So once the library, the scan body from the library places the scan body is scanned in the digital impression, now the computer will be able, because of this uh, library, to replace parts and now build upon a uh, structure as the right image shows. In the right image you see an implant and the hybrid that it uses. So now the computer knows where to place this hybrid and build the crown upon this hybrid that we are going to cement inside to do a screw retained crown. This is also uh, the way to do um, custom abutments or um, bars or anything else that you need doing uh, from a digital scan. Scan bodies have two or three components. Every one of them has the connection. The connection needs to be seated inside the implant, and this is the, the first thing I have to tell you about connections is you have to place and check that the connection is correctly seated, that it doesn't move. If you have a hex or a trilobe or anything else, you have to check that um, the scan body is not rotating. You have to torque the scan body to the correct measurements, and afterwards, after you, you are convinced that you can do an RX to uh, verify if the uh, placement of this set scan body is correct, uh, and afterwards, you're going to take the digital impression. Digital impression will uh, actually uh, represent, do a mesh of uh, the upper part of the implant. Uh, that it uh, is comprised of uh, a middle section for some implants 
and uh, this cannibal section. For other brands, uh, the whole upper part is, com uh, is composed of this cannibal section, as you see in the image on the left. The library not always contains the whole, the whole scan body. So sometimes it only contains the upper part or uh, in other cases, only the flat part. So it would be wise to know what library you are using because that is the part of the scan body that you have to have a perfect scan of. If you don't, just try to impression the whole of the scan body as correct as as precise as possible. Scan body materials. On the left, you see a scan body that is done out of peak. This is a soft material, very easy to scan, but it has a disadvantage that being soft, uh, it's going to uh, be prone to deformation when you seek it inside the implant, also prone to deformation after uh, multiple cycles of sterilization. So this is why mostly peak uh, and soft material scan bodies are good for mostly a single impression, and then you'll have to change it. In the middle, you'll see a scan body done out of metal and coated with uh, peak or any other uh, material that is uh, plastic or plastic-like, so it can easily be scanned. And uh, on the right, you'll see metallic scan bodies. The middle one that is coated uh, is uh, very easily seated and torqued and also is very easily scannable but it has a disadvantage that after some time it's going to chip and uh, the metal underneath is going to show up that becoming that is a very shiny metal and it's going to get things uh, harder to scan so when this happens my recommendation would be to replace this scan bodies the ones on the right the metal ones are the least prone to uh, be modified over time but they are also very hard to scan because they are very shiny. So I, uh, some of us are trying to image them after uh, they are being sprayed, but that induces volumetric modifications of the scan bodies. So it's not the correct technique to use them. Um, this is why in metal scan bodies, I uh, prefer the ones that are sand blasted and, um, this uh, giving the perfect results on all components of the scan body. The structure will remain the same even after uh, longer uh, stabilization cycles. They are very easily scannable and the results are very good. So one of my recommendations would be try to find such metal scan bodies that are sandblasted.